Welcome to the Tesla High Volume Semi Factory construction video taken Friday, October 11th, around 8 a.m. in the morning. This factory is slated to produce 50,000 Tesla semis a year. And that rate of production is supposed to be reached by the end of 2026. The battle is being fought on many fronts. You'll see a lot of um, progress in footings, including the BFF, the big freaking footings. Progress is being fought on the st with steel columns, beams, and trusses. And they are working on the third segment of the building. The roof panels using the BZI Mesmaster and panel table continue to be installed. And you'll notice the supports have been removed from this first section of the building, and they now only are present there on the second section. So they don't, you know, it might seem small, but they don't have to have enough of those supports for the entire six primary segments. They are able to use them, and when that section is structurally sound, they move them to the next section. What you just saw, I'm sorry I started the, uh, the voiceover a little bit late, are the trucks moving more trusses into position. I believe those trusses were, we're flying along the north perimeter and going towards the east perimeter as we round this corner, this is the eastern edge. And just below this eastern edge is where they stored a lot of trusses. And those trucks are moving them up into position. That red truck, I believe, might have the um, wall insulation, I mean the wall panels that we saw installed uh, the last video. And that was 48 hours ago. Um, apparently, I expected to see a lot more of those wall, at the rate they were going, I expected to see a lot more of those wall, those long, narrow wall panels installed. But apparently they stopped and moved on to other things and they're gonna wait till they get that third section completed before they start installing, continue installing it along the northern section. I'm not sure why they haven't run, started running down the western perimeter with those wall panels because that one, that building segment is complete. Here are those BFFs and I'm not sure what those large square things with tubular things sticking out. I don't think they're like, um, don't believe they are rebar support. They're, they look more, maybe more like something for production, although we see them over here too. You can get a size, you can get a sense of the scale of these giant footings by the uh, ladders and the men, the workers. And I wish we knew what those side little shoots, the wings coming off of these large um, footings were. We'll see as they progress what's going on here, but some people have speculated that these will be um, pits where workers can get under the uh, vehicles, but I'm not com convinced. One of the fronts of this battle that I didn't mention at the intro is um, trenches. You'll see a lot of trenches and then some of these interesting holes being done that don't look exactly like utility trenches like these do. The ones we're looking at right there, center left, those look like your classic utility trenches. Um, we are now running along the um, southern perimeter wall. That to me looks like, I'm guessing that that's gonna be where the semis exit, the completed semis exit the building. Actually, I take that back. I mean, that I do, I, not, not that part, but this is the uh, eastern section perimeter and that is where I think the completed Teslas with semis will exit the building. 
Now we are running along the southern perimeter. And one thing you'll notice is as we get to these polygons, those ones right there, those are where the building segments come together. Anytime you see those, you know there's going to be two, uh, uh, two sections. Uh, they are, like you see here, they're built that way to allow two separate columns to be placed, one for the end of one building and then another for the beginning of another. And by, by that, we know for a certain that this section of the um, factory is going to have the extension that's um, shown in the uh, rendering. And those are the polygons that I'm talking about. And they, that shows that they're going to extend this building. And that section of the building is going to, has a portion of it that's going to be two stories um, and taller than the rest of the area. My guess is that's the administrative engineering area. It's just a, it's just a guess. Here is the Mesmaster at the panel table, and we've seen a lot of that footage, and if you're interested in some in-depth coverage of that, you could look at two or three or four videos ago and see a, a large section, a, a focus on the, on the Mesmaster. Here's a different angle, which at a, from a lower angle, you can see how massive these um, footings are. This is a look at the Apple solar farm that feeds the server farm, the nearby Apple server farm. We are right above the Tesla semi-factory construction site, and I've always challenged Tesla to get more solar. They have a lot on the Giga Nevada building, but not that much. Again, those polygons indicate where building one building will end, one segment will end, and another will start. Just a different look at the uh, footings here. And in a little bit, we'll take a look at the um, rendering. This is the uh, drone starting to return to the uh, to home base, to the takeoff area. So here's the building. Here's the rendering of the building. And the top right is that extra segment of building that hasn't been built. If you follow that line, there's a jog, there's a slight jog. Uh, and that part is built into it. You can see that slight jar, jog. And uh, there's, a, uh, there's a test track that goes around on the rendering, goes around the building. And uh, you can glean a lot of interesting things by studying that, that rendering more if you're interested. Thanks for joining, and uh, we'll bring, be bringing you another video in about three days.